Alright, the next molecule we're going to look at is formaldehyde, which has the formula CH2O. And we want to work out the Lewis dot structure for it first. And carbon has one, two, three, four electrons. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. And hydrogen is going to have one. So we want to count for carbon. See how many electrons are on the central atom, two, four, six, seven. And then the oxygen has two, four, six, seven. And so we know we've got a problem here. And we're going to move electrons in between. the carbon and the oxygen here. Pick that one because it's by itself. Maybe that one. And try it again. So there's carbon, oxygen, hydrogens. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this case, oxygen has eight and carbon has eight. So we know that this has to be the right Lewis structure. Draw it again. Double bond between carbon and oxygen. And two CH single bonds. All right, next we want to know something about the hybridization because we're going to do the Vesper structure. So that's the Lewis structure. And first we can say that carbon has three groups of electrons. Therefore, there's going to be sp2 hybridization and planar triangular geometry. Then the oxygen also has, let's draw this out here, three groups of electrons. And so it will have the same sp2 hybridization. sp2 hybrids and the planar tri triangular geometry as well. So then if we want to draw the, the Vesper structure, we're going to indicate the 120 degree angles. Whoops, that was wrong. Okay, instead we get the dots there. Okay, but still you have the planar triangular uh, geometry for the oxygen as well. So you would say that these lone pairs are still 120, approximately 120 degrees. So if you put the angle in, hang on, you got 120 here for the carbons, and then the lone pair to the double bond, that's 120, and if I do this better, you'd see 120 there. And you'd say planar triangular geometry for the Vesper structure. All right, now um, the next step here is to draw the sigma framework <coughs> using the rule that one double bond is made up of one sigma and one pi.
So sp2, sp2, sp2. Carbon has sp2, sp2, sp2. Hydrogens are s. And you want to label sp2. And don't forget to put in the lone pair electrons on the oxygen. Finally, you want to indicate sigma bonds, end on overlap between orbitals. This one's kind of messy, but the carbon oxygen sigma bond is illustrated here. All right, so that's the sigma framework. And next we want to work out the pi framework. And uh, for the pi framework, we want to work out the orbital diagram for the carbon and then the oxygen. Carbon has 2s2, 2p2, valence electrons, 1s. I'm sorry, 2s and 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we know that we want to make sp2 hybrids, so we have to promote the electron to the p orbital. And the next step, 2s, 2p, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to combine these three to make sp2 hybrids. One, two, three. Whoops. Hold on. Put some white in there. There's three of them. Okay, sp2 hybrids, and then there's going to be a p left over. So you have one, two, three, four. So the sp2s are going to be involved in sigma bonding. The p is going to be involved in pi bonding. For the oxygen, you have 2s2, 2p4. Okay. And draw the diagram for the unhybridized oxygen, 2s, 2p, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to do a promotion here, right there, and have 2s, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now we're going to hybridize here and make 1, 2, 3, oops, These are the sp2 hybrids. You can call them 2sp2, but it just, you don't have to drag around the quantum number 2. We all know that it's sp2 hybrids at this point. And then the empty p unhybridized orbital. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now let's label what we got here. These two are going to be lone pairs on the oxygen. This one is going to make the sigma bond, and this one will make the pi bond. All right, we're going to put it all together now. And we have carbon. Oxy oxygen. These are your sp2 hybrids. You can put in your bond angles, 120 degrees. We, we know that anyway. It's not the big issue here. 
And then um, now for the p orbitals, oxygen has one unhybridized p electron, carbon has one unhybridized p electron. They're going to sideways overlap to make the pi bond. So you have one sigma and one pi, and these are sigma as well. All right, that would be the Vesper structure, and this is the pi framework superimposed on the sigma framework.